Hello everyone, I'm JCrazy614 and welcome back to my playthrough of Dragon Quest 7 and we're going to go into this giant urn because the place we need to go is inside this portal right here. So, so now we're going to try and figure out how to draw the face. And we've arrived. Well, let's just go into the temple. Well, the lightness of the Great Spirit. Wow, everyone is out of here. Yeah, and also when I quit this last time, it said, May the Spirit of the Land protect you. Or something like that, but clearly it says Spirit of the Land, not the Almighty, so I like that touch. Hmm. So now we get to finally go forward. And we can use our royal key to go in. Hmm. So the carvings may be of significance, so we can actually look at these carvings and these will give us clues. Alright, first one was involved eyes. This one involves a mouth. This one involves two ears, born from the same heart. And we have a nose to show I'm very low. Alright, so by looking at them, Saeed remembers them, and we can actually... We can actually talk to them if we want to find out. So, let's keep going further down. Oh. This is new. And we get a mimic cart. So if you haven't been heart farming, I think I got several of these already, so I don't need to get any more. It's always nice to get, get them. this bridge and we found an area that's new to us. It's a hidden pyramid. Hmm. Alright, so we got the vile creature here again. And we've got a new enemy, Dingbat. Yeah, you can get their hearts as well. They're, they're a new point. Well, they're an advanced class monster, so... Freezing Blizzard, Air, and Thin Air. And yeah, Vile Creatures can be hurt by, by Thin Air. And down goes the Dingbat. This is kind of a maze. And there should be one other new enemy if I end up eating them. That takes two of them out. Oh, and Sai missed with, I believe, was a sword dance. Get past the, the Kayarian. And now we're in a hallway with six coffins. Basically close the lids on all of them. And it's basically exclusive to this room. Yeah, 
Yes, you do gotta do this six times. But we're in good video and now we get to mm, do this process a lot quicker. It'll show this process a lot quicker, but once you close all six, you get these, the eye stones. So we got one of the items we needed. Oh, and now the doors are open and there was a vile creature behind. Right there. Of course, play things right there. You know what? Nah. Well, I'm just going to take three of them out. Hopefully it will summon the creature I want. I want to show. Oh, it summoned another bloody hand. So, it looks like it's not going to do it for me now. But it's not going to do it for me this time. But maybe another time. And of course the goat farming runs right into us. Alright, now go down went the gold farming. Oh, there was the ding bat. Oh, and there's an Emperor Slime. There's some vile creatures to back it up. Freezing Wizard. That's what it's here. And in here. Some good gold. Maybe I gotta pick up those Emperor slimes sometime. Alright, now this is gonna be a hard part. I gotta see if I can remember which way to go. Let's start this way. up when we did nothing. So it's basically a staring contest and we get the mouth stone. Alright, so basically you gotta stand those tiles and wait a few seconds. And run into another Emperor's line. And there's a new, I believe the last new enemy of this area, Demon Deacon. Alright, looks mm, like you got his degree from Georgia Tech. That's cool. Actually, Aisha, I want you to physical attack that one. And that takes care of the Emperor Slimes. Oh, and Saeed took it down with a Falcon Slash. Yeah, and that's what the demon beacon looks like on, on the field.
Well, I got the ding bat. And Jack gained a new skill. Well, a new spell as the Mandrake Major to sap. It also means he's ranked up. And we got two demon dinkies. Sadly, they're not in the same group. Otherwise, I could must dance my way through them. Oh, Dazzled. We got Dazzled. Well, two, two of our characters got Dazzled. And Aishi ranked up as a armamentalist. Alright, we managed to sneak behind the monsters. But it won't last long, but that demon D game couldn't fit through the door. Hmm, let's see, which way should we go? This way. And I think what we're looking for is here. And we get a no stone. Now let's just head back. Oh, and a deep in the beacon is blocking our way. Now we can actually do the muscle dance since they're in the same group. And down they go. And Ralph gained a new vocation level as Barbados. And of course, the Dean back catches us because it's a narrow passageway. I got hit, but Saeed did. And someone's gained a level. And it's Mirabel, person I needed. And she ranked up as a paladin. That should put her at vocation level 5, I believe. Oh, and the. But before we can finish, we have a couple of demon beacons to deal with. Ah, uh, there we go. Alright, and for that we get the final piece, the heart stone. Yes, I can. Now, before anything else... Oh, there's the heart stone, so... We actually want to use that. And... Yeah, we have to break the heart. But we get ear stones for it, so... So that should make up for things. But now what we gotta do is head... 
feel like some brain skip. And what I meant to say is, we're going to head back to Albalon. And now we just need to head back to the Oasis. Taste of the grease pit. Yeah, we did. Here's everything, sir. Now, why don't you go put on, put on the game face? Ah! They're all lining up. Well, not perfectly. Not yet. Okay, now the jewel's sunk into the earth. All of a sudden, its face appears. Ah, the earth there's made of rock. Yes, of course it is. Ah, look at that. And a mighty earth spirit. Why the sands? Alright, this is our third spirit. Well, we need help. So, yes, yeah, to see this, people are protected, so. Looks like he's burying himself. But, it really isn't. So this, he can only help the island, well, the people of the island, but we need all four spirits. So that leaves one more. However, we do get this nice shiny amulet for our troubles. And it's the earth amulet. All right. Alright, so we got three spirits down, so that only leaves one. Oh, well his back hurts, so maybe say you should get him back home, which is what he's going to do. Oh yeah, we, we need to go talk to Queen Neferta. And yes, the portal's still there. We'll go back once we've taken care of things with Queen Aperta. And once we went down with that, we got one more spirit left. And things sound a lot better now. More cheerful. Is he alright? Oh, he's just asleep. I imagine being up, being scared of monsters would leave you without sleep. Hey, Queen. Yeah, we were. Yeah, we're going to deal with it. Alright, well, we talked to the queen and let her know. I'm trying to remember if there was something up here. Let's 
Associates. No, there's no treasures here. I believe it's in the basement. It's not why I had that there. And well, you know, the way to the basement is still open to us. Oh, hey. We didn't see you down here before. Ah. Oh. So you're thinking of reinvigorating it? So, in one minute, I might as well use Snoop. See if we can find anything here. It said there are two treasures down here. Oh, there's one of the shinies. Oh, great. I have to get all the way out of there. That's so I can get all the way over here. And what do we get for, for our search? We get a prayer ring. Alright, that's nice. I believe there's something else over here. Ah, there's the other one. Magic water. Yay. Well, I'm not exactly excited about that. Yeah. Fire. Let's see, I'll put the prayer ring away for now, and also the magic water. And I do want to check those rooms back there. Just because I'm curious. Oh yeah, we got those are treasures from the past we got. And what was on the other end? Oh yeah, another storm room. I believe we got those as well. But it's time to go back to the oasis, so I'll meet you there. Alright, I'm back at the oasis and it's time to just head back to our regular world. We got one more spirit we gotta find. But where could this spirit be? We can't even access the blue tail portal, so where are we where else could we look? That's the only thing I can think of is that Mark, Captain Shark Eye and I both had. So maybe that'll lead to a clue. We got three Earth Spirits already. What? No, we got three Spirits, not three Earth Spirits. So we might as well head to the ship. Oop. Didn't mean to go that way. Need to go this way. Oh, hey. Yeah, we've awoken them, but we need to get to the water spirit. So you're saying now's the time to awaken? Alright, so we can awaken this. Ah, there we go. Alright, so where are we headed? Ah, for the power of magic, we now know where we're going. Well, technically, the, the crew of the Sea Dragon knows where they're going. Huh. 
Is that the rainbow coat? Yes, it is. Oh, the water sphere was underneath Rainbow Cove this whole time. Ah, there's our water spirit. Well, I imagine she's been helping us a lot. There's our fire spirit. The earth spirit. In the wind spirit. By their powers combined. Yep. Isn't that what I just said? By your powers combined. Something is... Ah. There we go. That's our island. We're back. Yeah, we need to find out why the Almighty would seal, seal our world away. And we get another, another amulet, the water amulet. So all four are going to come in handy in the future. And now the spirits are going to the Cathedral of Light. Or... Huh? What's happening? And now our four spirits come together. Well, we kind of figured that out eventually that the Almighty wasn't what they seemed. That's what dictators say, Mr. Almighty. And the spirits use their powers, and we find out that the Almighty... Uh, wait a minute. Is that... For Kodomir? Then what was that thing we beat several times with? Several episodes ago. So basically, he really did take take out the Almighty, and forgot him. You're still around, but so it looks like we're going to have to take care of him again. Well, he looks a lot more green than before, and now he's going to raise his tower. Just make sure we can't re reach it from the ground. And that one is our party. But Sir Mervyn's still here. The heroic Sir Mervyn. Managed to make it here in time. Yeah, surprised that the Almighty was the Demon King. And who everyone's been worshiping this whole time? No. But, hmm. Yeah, I probably should have kept some of this for the next episode, but while we're at it, we might as well get through all this. Yeah, we kind of figured it out. Well, we'll take care of the Demon King. I understand Maribel, so... Go ahead. 
Go ahead and take care of your bed. He just got well again. Well, we are kind of seen as the only hope of the world, so... So next time, i am got to take care of some things since we now have access to the world. And who knows, I might show off some monsters we haven't faced yet. But until next time, I'm Crazy 614 Thank you for watching. Have a good day, and adios!